तो पहले क्या जाते हैं डीबीसी में तो उसको पेनल आइसक्रीम चॉकलेट के चॉकलेट सॉस पीनट्स चेरी क्रीम लवली I'm going to get a scoop of the Death by Chocolate from the ground up. Mm. That's a dessert that can make one deliriously happy. Hi folks, I'm in a chocolate sort of a mood. I feel like eating something that is decadently chocolatey. And I have this dessert in my mind for a long time. Actually I don't even remember the last time I tasted this dessert it's been that long ago. Now this chocolate dessert I think is Bengaluru's most loved most popular chocolate dessert and it is served at an ice cream store that goes back nearly 4 decades. You probably already know what I'm talking about. Yes, I'm talking about the Death by Chocolate that is sold at Corner House. When it comes to satisfying a chocolate lover's craving for something chocolatey and ice creamy i think there is no dessert as popular as the corner house death by chocolate so today we've set out to corner house hsr layout and there are numerous corner houses all over bengaluru i don't think it really makes a difference where you savor the desserts they're pretty much the same so we've set out to hsr layout to fix my craving for a utterly decadent chocolatey dessert in the death by chocolate Death by chocolate. Two hundred and ten. क्या नाम है आपका? Sachin. Sachin. तो पहले क्या जाते हैं DBC में? Vanilla. तो उसको vanilla ice cream, chocolate cake, chocolate sauce, peanuts, cherry, cream. Lovely. Fifty grams. Sixty-five grams. Sixty-five grams. So there's sixty-five grams of the chocolate cake that goes into it. Fantastic. So the chocolate cake has gone on top of the ice cream. Cream, one scoop of the cream. Cherry. And cherries. How many? Three cherries. Three cherries. Chocolate sauce. And the chocolate sauce. Oh. How many scoops of? Three. Three scoops. Peanuts. And some peanuts. Lovely. That's our death by chocolate. I can feel it both cold and hot at the same time. Well, we have our. Death by chocolate here. I'm tasting this after God knows how many years. Definitely a decade or so. Well, I can't wait to taste the death by chocolate. So you got two generous scoops of the vanilla that go first into this plastic tub, and then you have 65 grams of the chocolate cake that goes in. They're very precise about the quantities here that go into it. I guess when you have multiple outlets and multiple people constructing these desserts, you have to be precise. So you've got the chocolate cake that goes on top, and then you have a scoop of the cream, and then followed by three ladles of that rich and decadent. chocolate syrup and then there's a garnish of nuts and of course we also have some cherries so there's some cherries here i think two of the fresh cherries and i think there's one glazed cherry or is that a fresh cherry too i'm not quite sure i'm going to get a scoop of the death by chocolate from the ground up with the ice cream with some of that chocolate cake and also some nuts Mm, that's a rich chocolate cake. That chocolate cake is dense. I think it's rich in itself, and then of course, all that chocolate syrup has seeped into that chocolate cake. I won't taste some of that cake just by itself. Mm, so that's a typical chocolate cake. But what happens is when that chocolate syrup seeps through the cake. that makes it rich and buttery so i think even in the chocolate sauce so typically a chocolate sauce if you want it light it's the cocoa some sugar and water but if you want it rich then you have the cream that goes into it and also with some butter and i think the chocolate sauce that they do here is certainly one that's slightly richer mm. that's a dessert that can make one deliriously happy i think what's interesting in this dessert is the construction of the dessert so the vanilla of course is creamy and sugary and then you have the chocolate cake that cuts through the creaminess of that vanilla ice cream 
it also brings in a slight bitterness which balances against the richness of the ice cream and also when you make a chocolate sauce typically you would also add a teeny weeny pinch of salt or perhaps some salted butter just to give it that slightly saltish edge that you will taste at the end this is also a dessert that you need to work your way through in a hurry because that hot chocolate sauce is certainly melting things up so what began as a rather solid assemblage of the ice cream and the cake is now slowly turning into a chocolate vanilla slush of sorts mm. i think the cake is prepared more in a fudge style so as opposed to a typical chocolate cake a chocolate fudge cake would have a little more moistness that would come in from perhaps the butter and also if it's a cake that has eggs in it then some eggs too mm. i'd hate to think about how many calories i'm consuming right now in this tub that doesn't look so big but then it's decadently loaded from the ice cream to the chocolate cake to the chocolate sauce and of course also the cream the cream i'm not sure if it's a dairy cream or if it's a soy based cream i think if there is ever a thing such as too much chocolate this death by chocolate certainly is that i think you begin with a lot of enthusiasm especially the first 5 6 7 8 or 9 bites and then slowly but surely that chocolate sauce takes over that entire dessert so all that ice cream all that cream is now weighed down by the chocolate and i guess it's an ice cream or it's a sundae that lives up to its name it's a chocolate and more specifically the chocolate sauce that quite literally smothers all the other ingredients in this sundae but in a delicious decadent chocolatey sort of way and the peanuts of course add a nice toasty crunch to every bite Let me see if I can taste some of the cherry now. That cherry is smothered completely by the chocolate and cream. So some of its pulpiness comes through, notwithstanding the chocolate. Of course, you got to look out for the seed in the cherry. I think towards the end, as you find that cherry, you're thankful for its fleshy, pulpy bite because that also, in a manner of speaking, helps cleanse. your palate of some of that chocolate overload so for those of you who may not know this establishment corner house began in the 80s actually as a burger and sandwich sort of a place and in those days i think they only had about two or three ice creams on the menu and the reason why i know this is because we've done a local flavors episode on food lovers tv years ago this is an episode that did not have me but basically add a bit of a story on the place so i'm going to place a link to it here and also in the description below in case you haven't caught it so ice creams although were a part of the initial menu weren't really the focus but it's only a few years later that they came to be known for their ice creams and their ice cream creations and at some point along the way i guess the people behind this now legendary ice cream house decided that they didn't want to do sandwiches and burgers anymore and so they made the flip entirely to ice cream creations and three decades on when it comes to ice cream ice cream sundays that has become synonymous with corner house and no matter where you are located in bengaluru you will find a corner house near you i must say that as i am tasting this ice cream i'm now getting to a point where that chocolate is now beginning to overwhelm my palate i came here to satisfy a chocolate craving but as i leave at the near end of this death by chocolate i must say it has killed my chocolate craving for a very long time and i guess that's what a death by chocolate is meant to do have one of these and you may not want to see chocolate at least for a few days i hope you enjoyed this dbc as they call it here in bengaluru death by chocolate outing if you did give this video a big thumbs up 
If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do consider subscribing because we're going to post many short videos like these which you will not find on Food Lovers TV. Make sure you subscribe to this second channel, the Kripal Amana channel. Until the next time, take care, stay safe, bye-bye.